Happy Tuesday, everybody, and welcome to Reading Week on Talking Threads. Talking, talking, talking Threads. When I was a kid, I wasn't a hugely independent reader. Um, it wasn't until I was diagnosed with and subsequently medicated for attention deficit disorder that I really got the patience to read. However, I always enjoyed being read too. Having someone with the use of their voice and diction and inflection weave a story and bring me into another world was one of my favorite experiences as a child. And there are a bunch of books that I think really contributed to that. So without further ado, I present to you a short list of books and what I learned from them. That creativity and careful use of puns can get you anywhere. That sometimes it's okay to be who you want. That growing up is sometimes scary. That anyone can be a leader no matter how small, and sometimes that means making sacrifices. That if you look hard enough, you'll always find the answer. That whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. That comic books aren't just for kids. That drugs are cool and make you better at your job. And that sometimes the nerdy guy does get the girl. I think one of the most amazing things about literature is the fact that it can be interpreted in so many different ways by different people. There are a myriad of ways that we read books, that we listen to what they're trying to tell us. And as with any other form of escapism, we are brought to new places and made to discover new things about ourselves. I mean, I don't really know what else to say about books and reading apart from the fact that I'm incredibly grateful that I was raised in a family that held that skill in such high esteem. I don't think that I would be nearly the well-rounded geek that I am if I hadn't read everything from Alan Moore to Arthur Conan Doyle. I guess the most important thing for me is to really read between the lines whenever you pick up a book. Listen to what it's trying to tell you, not what it says in black and white. If you read with only half of your mind, you miss out on so much of the depth that could enrich your life. So this week, I guess, we're going to be uh, discussing literature and the way that it has influenced our lives. And what I'd really want to know from any of you who feel like answering this is what genre of book do you go to when you need a comfort read? When it's rainy outside or you've had a crappy day and you just need to curl up on the couch with a book that'll make you feel good. For me, it's either uh, a good Sherlock Holmes story, uh, although that's, I'm such a huge Sherlock Holmes fan that, that that's for like just about any situation, or uh, a good piece of sci-fi because sometimes I like to be reminded that there are other worlds I could be thinking about than the one I'm in right now. Well, that's all for me for this week. Uh, I'll see you next Tuesday. Nick, I'll see you tomorrow.